Today's guest was the youngest artist featured in a recent exhibit of American contemporary black artists. Not only that, but his work is getting noticed by some people in very high places. Let's make some noise for Tyler Gordon. Hey guys, I'm really excited to be here with you guys today. Tell us about getting your work into a major exhibit. So when I found out that my art was going to be in a major exhibit featured next to Basquiat himself, I was completely shocked. I really didn't even know what to say. I was just completely grateful that I even had that opportunity. So how long have you been painting? I've been painting for at least three years. Only three years? Yes. Now, what's your favorite thing about painting? My favorite thing about painting is when I'm done doing a painting, my most favorite thing is seeing the people's faces when I finish the painting. Because some of them cry and some of them jump up with joy. That's just really like, this makes me all happy. Okay, that brings me to my next question. We understand the subject of one of your paintings recently had a pretty big reaction to your work. That painting was Kamala Harris, and first of all, the reason why I wanted to paint her is because she really inspires me. Um, she's one of the first of many. She went through tons of barriers herself, and I have as well, with my stutter, me being deaf until I was six, and me being a wheelchair for two years. So she, she it's really inspires me just to keep going and never give up in life and don't let anybody tell you that, that you can't do something. Wait, wait, wait. So you painted the vice president? <laughs> yes. Of the United States. <laughs> Ariel, I don't know if I can actually continue with this interview because I'm so shook. No, I know, we just have to play cool, play cool. Please tell us all about the vice president, thank you. Well, when she called me. She called, oh. wait, she called you? <laughs> yes. On the phone? Yes. Sorry, I'll contain myself, go ahead. She actually called me right before Thanksgiving and the first thing we hear is, hey, it's Kamala Harris. And we were in complete shock. We really just had a nice, chill, and cool conversation. And I was smiling. My mouth was open the entire time. So I was in just complete shock. So what made you want to start painting? The reason why I wanted to start painting is because of this dream I had. One night at 3 in the morning, I had this dream, God telling me that I could paint. So I ran to my mom's room and told her about my dream. And at first she told me, Tyler, just go back to bed. So then the next night, and I had the exact same dream, except this time God told me if I didn't use my dream, he was gonna take it away. So I ran to my mom's room crying and told her about what, what he said. So when it came to six in the morning, she gave me one of her smaller canvases and it took me exactly 17 minutes. And I painted my principal, Miss Cord, and that same painting actually helped me win the school STEM fair. Okay, so that goes to show you should always follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, I wanna know, do you have any advice for kids who wanna start painting? If you wanna start painting or you wanna achieve anything, set a goal to achieve it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something and just keep pushing your life. Okay, Tyler, pop quiz. Top of your head, don't think too long. Lifetime goal, go. Well, one of my lifetime goals is to paint the White House official portrait. <gasps> That's a big <laughs> goal. <laughs> and you better listen to your advice and never give up, never quit, because you're going to do it. Tyler <laughs> Gordon, you're great. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys have been so much fun. Today's guest was the youngest artist featured in a recent exhibit of American contemporary black artists. Not only that, but his work is getting noticed by some people in